In just one year, Carter Perry lost a lung and a leg due to infection caused by the flu and then got COVID. Now he's determined to get back on his board and do what he loves. I can't see nothing. Nothing? So the hat, the hat's supposed to defend you from the sun, okay? So you pull it down like over your eyes, and then the sun can't hit them. Well, there you go. It's all the way down. Yeah, we'll see. The ball goes up high like that sometimes. Well, just, just watch it when it comes back the down. The more you play, the more you see like the ball, it goes high. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just blinded. <laughs> oh lord. It's gonna be my best serve ever anyway. Oh. Oh yeah, deadly. <laughs> Woo. It's just hard to be as mean in tennis as in cornhole. Tennis is a gentleman's game. Cornhole is a southern man's game. Oh! <laughs> okay, roll fast enough. Back it up, Jasper. Nice. No, Jasper. Jasper. <laughs> this is the Mario Kart Tennis Crossing Challenge. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Yerba Mate is a traditional South American brew that has gained popularity throughout North America for its myriad of health benefits. Namely, it's been highly revered for its ability to increase energy, boost mental focus, and speed up metabolism. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Cheers. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's like uh, permanently locked my face like this. <laughs> and it's like, imagine bitter coffee, plus kava, plus, I don't know, like tea that's been sort of like, you've set, set it out for like two or three days. And it's like, it tastes like pure plant water. So we finished three cups now and uh, we're feeling it. Yeah, over the course of two cups and a few YouTube videos, I would say we're 100% converted. Yerba Mate is the drink of the past and the future. I can see colors, I can see, you know, I get disqualified, he yes. wins the entire game. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. I'm heading to Anaheim right now to do a podcast with High Sessions, which is like a pretty cool music channel that I've followed since I moved to Hawaii. Uh, it's how I kind of discovered Slacky Guitar. So it's pretty cool to be invited onto this podcast to talk despite having basically zero musical talent. So uh, I wonder what we'll discuss. Well, first of all, thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Now, you're originally from Ohio. Yep, uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Um, Grew up there, never been to Hawaii, uh, really had 
no idea that there was really even a city out here. I mean, that's kind of the classic East, yeah. Eastern mainlanders yeah. attitude. Like, oh, it's, you know, what you see in Lilo and Stitch and all that did stuff. Did you think we paddled canoe to school and stuff? Not to school, but you definitely did it often. Because <laughs> <laughs> none of us ever paddled a canoe. What are you talking about? I did. What? You I did? was on the paddling team yeah. in high school. You were? Yeah. yeah. You? Oh. What, what do you think it is, from your perspective, of someone in the mainland coming here and going, I gotta get off this rock because I got rock fever and I can't handle the, the pace of this place. And somebody like you coming here and going, I could just live here now. I think it has to do with people not being able to find their like a- athletic passion or their appreciation for the environment that they're in. Because mm. if someone's coming like from New York and they're just looking to shop <laughs> and like, <laughs> yeah. that's it. Like, yeah. this ain't really the place for you, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, but if you're coming here to, you know, appreciate what these islands have to offer and the people that live here, uh, I mean, why would you want to leave, really? Hmm? So you must kind of research this since you're, it affects you, but are there any technological advances that you see coming down, like uh, Iron Man's like bionic leg or something, <laughs> where you're going to like, hit this thing on your chest and like this, it's going to turn into a rocket? That this whole section is carbon fiber? Uh, which allows this to absorb a ton right, of energy. Wow, that's section. how people yeah. run and stuff. With exactly. So there's the more extreme version of that. That's called a blade, a cheetah yeah. blade. Where that's the when it looks like you know cyberpunk. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Did you yeah. try it out before? Uh, I hate running. Running sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm running from somebody like, chasing me. Luckily, yeah. yeah. Luckily, I don't lose that. What do you have planned for this evening? Well, funny you should ask. I'm teaching four hours of English class to my old school in Japan. I'm no longer on the payroll, but they're so desperate for actually for like the foreign presence in the classroom because of COVID, no uh, foreign teachers are coming to Japan yet, that they want me in there teaching four groups of the kids. The kids are all gonna come up with a question for me and they're just gonna come up to the computer one at a time on Zoom and ask me a question. Can they see us now? They're waving. Okay, hi, hello, yeah. hi, hello, Whoa. hi everyone. Good to see you now. Oh, great. Excellent. Nice to see you everyone. Minasan, sashiburi desu ne. O genki? Yokatta, otoshi mo genki desu. Yes. Wa, umi desu. And over here is the crater, the old volcano. My friend, otoshi no tomodachi, uh, surfer desu ne. And Kari no Mokyo wa. But hi, here's the surfboard. Yeah. It's, uh, so, and here it says a robot leg. Sugoi ne. Wow. Wow, solid metal. Right. Yeah, yeah. You, you usually use that leg when you surf. Ah. Uh, do I have a girlfriend? No. <laughs> yeah, very good question, right? Yeah, yes. good question. Excellent. Great question. Thank you. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>